Corporate Web Proxy for Node Package Manager. If your office computer is on Windows Operating System and you're under a corporate proxy, then it is possible that NPM may not work properly when fetching new modules from the NPM registry. To avoid this, you can manually configure your HTTP proxy of your NPM or alternatively, use another third-party proxies such as NTLM Authorization Proxy Server or the CNDLM Authentication Proxy. For this lesson, we will learn how to add an HTTP and HTTPS proxy for the Node Package Manager. Let's begin. The Node Package Manager gets its configuration settings from the command line, environment variables, and the npm rc files. This npm rc file is basically just an initialization config file for npm. It just looks like something like this. This file can be set in many locations of your machine like on the project level, by the user level, and many others. For the project level, there will be a .npmrc file on the root folder of your project. For the user level, on the other hand, the .npmrc file will be on the home directory of the user. For now, we will set up the HTTP and HTTP proxy config of npm on the user level. To do this, we just have to simply type these commands. npm config set proxy and then your HTTP proxy URL. Next, npm config set HTTPS dash proxy and then your HTTPS proxy URL. All right, let's get started. Let's open a command prompt by going to your start menu and then type here CMD. Next, let's open the folder of your home directory by going to folders and then navigate to your local disk drive, users, and then choose here the specific user that you're using. Since we're adding the HTTP and HTTPS proxy on the user level, the new .npmrc file will be added on this user home directory. The .npmrc file is usually hidden, and that's why we have to enable the option to view the hidden files and folders in our file explorer. To do that, simply go to View menu, and then tick the Hidden Items checkbox. And as you can see, the hidden files and folders are now being shown. We will see the new .npmrc file show up in this folder later on. Let's go back to our command prompt. And then let's see the list of our npm config. To do that, simply type npm config and then list. You can see here your npm settings for the scope, user agent, prefix, and other environment variables. Later on, we can also see the HTTP and HTTPS proxy settings in this list. Let's open another command prompt. And here, type npm config set proxy and then the HTTP proxy URL. So, for example, I have here trollsdojo.com and then add the port and press enter. Did you notice a new file that shows up? Yes. That's a new .npmrc file in your home directory. Let's take a quick look. Let's open it with a notepad. As you can see, our HTTP proxy setting has been persisted in this .npmrc file. Let's now add our HTTPS proxy. Just type npm config set and then https dash proxy and then your https proxy url this one https and then charles dojo com say 443 then press enter and then here let's reload the file
Success! Our proxies have been properly added on our config file. So if you want, you can just directly add or modify this proxy settings directly on your .npmrc config file. And as I mentioned earlier, you can see your new npm settings by using npm config list. So let's just clear this up. Just type cls. And then let's type npm config list. And as you can see here, our HTTPS proxy and proxy settings is properly added. For Mac users, the process is the same. Just open up a new terminal window. And then just type npm config set proxy and then your proxy URL. And same as your HTTPS proxy. Type HTTPS dash proxy, then HTTPS charlesdojo.com, then port 3. And then let's check our .npmrc file. Then let's go to your home directory, cd and tilde. And let's open .npmrc file. And just like in Windows, you're going to have this proxy settings as well. So lastly, type npm config list. And as you see here, our HTTPS proxy and proxy are properly added.